Last week at Deeper Diving, we congratulated Nick and Dean on the completion of their Dive Master courses, with of course the completion of the snorkel test. We also said goodbye to Jack, who'd been with us for the last two months completing his Dive Master course too. It'd been quite an adventurous time for all, of course travelling through the Covid quarantine and the restrictions that we had here. They've all emerged as extremely competent dive masters. We wish them well and we hope to see them back here again sometime soon. This week at the dive shop, we'll be looking forward to Mark doing his rescue diver, Gary and the health inspection, open water training dives, fun diving, and the glamorous side of working at a dive shop. So stay with us as we welcome you to Deeper Diving's YouTube channel. <laughs> Hi, this is Alex. Um, so our week, well, um, plan for this week was to get Mark through his rescue diver course, which um, looked like it was going to be a bit of a challenge because um, he managed to break his wrist a few weeks ago and um, so we were kind of a little bit worried about how we were going to uh, managed to get him through the course, but um, he did really, really well. Um, he's carried on diving, he's just kind of soldiered through and got on with his rescue and we completed the course on Friday and it was really, really great. Conditions were absolutely gorgeous for the first couple of days. Um, it was really beautiful in the bay. Um, water was so clear, really, really nice, and um, very little wind, very calm. It was a little bit more challenging once we got into open water. Mark did a really, really great job, and. Um, so we're very, very pleased with that. I think Rescue is one of the best courses um, that we offer. It's immense fun to teach. Um, it's it's challenging. Um, it can be hard work for both the instructor and the student, but um, it's immensely rewarding um, as well. So that's why it's one of my favourite courses to teach, even if I did get my nose burned on the last day. We've just had another inspection this week from the Ministry of Health and we've been finally given our good to go stickers demonstrating that we're fully compliant with all of the COVID requirements for both Grenada and also the Scuba Diving Association. We've got quite a few new protocols which we need to follow now, which are not too onerous, but they mean that we can safely open, go diving and be here to welcome guests to the island again. The protocols include sanitization of surfaces, equipment and the boats every day, making sure that we have hand sanitizers available in designated areas for staff only changing facilities, contact tracing, signage and masks. As I say, it's not a big issue for all of us, but it gives us a little bit more confidence that we're staying safe at this time. So we want to ask you that if you are coming to visit uh, us here at DIFA, um, please uh, wear a mask. Um, we all do, as you can see. Well, previous week, as Alex has been kind of busy with the rescue diver and DM training, I got to the opportunity to actually lead some dives and take some fine divers out for some really amazing dives since lately, well, today is a little bit rainy and cloudy, but in the previous weeks, we had amazing visibility and the reef is full of fish, especially around Sisters Rocks. Actually, that's one of the signs that it does it by itself. I don't have to do much, so it's just amazing. I'm gonna leave a link uh, in the description below so you can clean, click on it on a uh, guided dive through Sisters Rocks. Seriously, it's totally worth it. But other than that, we also had the opportunity to go to Mabuya Island and Sandy Island and you know what, why don't you just see by yourself? Thank you. 
So a big shout out also this week to Sam and Carrie for completing their open water certification course with John and Alex doing an amazing job of uh, teaching them and getting them through the course. Um, why am I so happy about that this week? Well, we had a tropical wave come through the latter half of the week and the conditions were a little bit less than favorable. Uh, it was grim, it was gray, it was raining, it was blustery, uh, and these guys were absolutely amazing. With a happy smile on their face and addressing and dealing with each uh, task that they needed to do with laughter and, and, and good fun. When we think about working on a tropical island as a diving professional, we all think about the comfortable waters, the beaches, being on the boat and of course lots and lots of fun diving. I know I still think about all the great dives that we do and all the amazing marine encounters that we see. However, as wonderful as it all appears to you guys, our guests, there is a lot of very non-glamorous work that goes on in the background to ensure that your time with us is the best that it can be. What do I mean by unglamorous? Well, each morning when we open up, we have to clear the site of plant debris and leaves and perhaps a small amount of iguana poop, to be honest. Move tanks around and check them before load them and all onto the boat for you. At the end of the dive, the boat is unloaded and will move and feed all the tanks too. So from time to time, we'll do some more in-depth work. This week, for example, I cleaned out the entire client deck area, scrubbing the wood back to its near original condition. Dean and Gary worked on clearing back some of the trees in the garden, which had become overgrown. These two activities helped us to ensure that our client areas are bright, clean and ready for when you're next here. No, it's not as fun as diving, it's not as glam as being in a swim zone on the boat, but it's still a critical part to daily operations in a dive center. And here we have a social media creative in her natural surroundings. She has surrounded herself with a variety of equipment, clips and snacks as she bears down for the long, solitary period of editing, rendering and exporting. Today this solitary creative is producing a video about puffer fish, which she hopes will create enough interest that will allow her to bring home enough food for her offspring. This is a truly marvellous sight to watch, a creative in action. So this has been a fairly typical week for us here at Defa Diving uh, during COVID. Uh, we get some diving, we get some uh, training and we get a hell of a lot of hard work whilst we make sure that our place looks perfect just for you. Um, but on the whole, we have a hell of a lot of fun too. So check in with us again next week as we bring you another glimpse of daily life here at Defa Diving in Kariku. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up icon. And uh, if you'd like our content and you'd like to see more of what we're doing, make sure you splash down on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified of any new content as we make it due. Our intention is to put a video like this out every week if we can. And more importantly, if you like it, if you don't, let us know. Um, feel free to pop your comments down in the section below. Um, We'd love to hear your feedback uh, a little bit about what you think about diving, what you think about Karakou. Any questions you've got for us, please just drop them down in the section below. We'll respond to every single response. Thank you very much for joining us again. Until next time, see you later. Bye.